we count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reads. Thank you guys so much for being here. So today's reading is going to be a very interesting reading. It's going to be a high as fuck, <clears throat> excuse me, high as fuck pick card reading. Um, but I've never done a Mercury retrograde reading and I really was interested in this particular one. I don't know why, but I felt the urge to do it. So here I am, I'm doing it. So today's reading is going to be what is being revealed to you during the Mercury retrograde, which will be between um, April 21st to May 14th. And it is in Taurus, which means it's going to be, I feel like, I don't know too much about Mercury retrogrades, for real, for real. But um, in my opinion, since it's in Taurus, Taurus is going to be about your stability and about your mental, okay? So it's either going to, I feel like, either shift in your perspective or it's going to change your perspective, okay? Let's see what we got. What is being revealed to power number one? Okay, so we're going to start off with this card. It says inspiration. Interesting how this picture looks. So I, I see that before I read all of this, right? I feel like what's being revealed to you, maybe you have an idea. Maybe you are, um, maybe you are brewing an idea. Maybe you want to do something You are um, with this word inspiration. Maybe you are listening to a, motivation, a motivational speaker. Or you could be reading books or something like that. Um, I also feel like... <clears throat> You are becoming an inspiration to other people. Whether you are doing major things or not, uh, if you are happy with your life and you are doing things that are like really amazing for whatever age you are at or you are just elevated in life, I feel like you are inspiring a lot of other um, individuals around you. So the card says, there's a voice or inspiration within me. Right now it's only a whisper, but but the more I listen, the louder it, it will get. Soon it will be a flow to speech um voiced by james earl jones i'm crying <laughs> through a megaphone with lots of with lots of applause so i feel like wow okay I, that, that's a very vivid very vivid situation right there i feel like what's being revealed to you during the mercury retrograde you could be um being becoming more exposed or you could be coming more headstrong more smarter elevating um you know Dreams become a reality. I'm feeling here as well. So we have um we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And we also have here guilt. I released any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So okay, this that's that's it. This Mercury retrograde. I see that things are going to be shifting and things are going to be shifting and shifting more into into your favor because I feel like you have. You could be having mental goals that you are setting for yourself. You could be, um, even with this guilt being here and with the swirls and stuff like that, you can see in your mind that you are destined for greatness, but it could be feeling like you're so far out of reach or you feel like you're not getting there or it could be the other way around. It feels like you are accomplishing all your goals. Everything, every time that you set a goal, you are achieving that goal. It could be feeling like um, everything that you are manifesting, everything that you manifest and everything that you are seeing in your dreams or, you know, I don't even know where I was at anymore because I got a FaceTime call. So I want to say that as well too during this, which being revealed to you during this um, Mercury retrograde, I can see that um, maybe you're going to be having some type of interruptions or a lot of people are going to be calling you, connecting with you, wanting to speak to you, um, maybe wanting to brainstorm ideas with you, probably want, maybe wanting to collaborate with you. We about to get into your tarot. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. You could be a Taurus. We have the Two of Cups here. The Four of Cups. The Six of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. The Moon card. The Three of Wands. Okay. So. I'm sorry guys. Bear with me. I want to make sure you guys can see the cards. It's like I'm breaking the chair child. That's better. All right, so pound number one. 
was being revealed to you during this uh, Mercury retrograde. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, as we all know, the best thing in the whole entire world is, you know, it gets lonely at the top, but it also gets lonely. It's also lonely at the bottom, you know? So it doesn't matter what the case may be. I feel like you, what's being revealed to you is that you are really the odd boy out of the family. I am seeing that you could be breaking generational curses. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I'm getting that you could be breaking generational cur um, curses, you know? Um, some of you could also be into meditation. You could be into meditation, praying. Some of you could be even getting into spirituality, depending on... If that's something that you are into or you is something that you, you know, have been dabbling in. And I also want to say that you could have been listening to a lot of subliminal music as well. Um, and with that being said, if you don't know about that and I'm saying that, maybe you got to be careful about the things that you are listening to. Because I am a firm believer that things that you listen to do, they do and they can manifest into your um, reality. So take that as it resonates with being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde. But the two of cups being here, you are only pouring into what is pouring. You only pouring into what is pouring into you. Okay. Um, if you have a relationship, you are also going to your relationship should be fine. <laughs> okay. If you are in a um, connection or something like that, it should be fine. It should be. But we have the nine of pentacles here because I feel like right now during this Mercury retrograde, from the um, dates, um, from the from April 21st to May 14th, it's really all about you. You know, I feel like you're going to be very mysterious. Um, you're going to be very to yourself. I feel like you're going to be manifesting a lot with the Three of Wands there, manifesting, longing, hoping, wishing, praying. Um, like, like I said, planning things out. I don't know why I'm feeling the urge to say that you are on fire. Four of Pentacles being here, five of Pentacles. I'm just thinking to myself that you are going to be, you're going to um, be like ugh, you're gonna rid the people that are basically doubting you or if you are trying to give people a plan or idea something like that i think that you're, um there's people that <clears throat> that don't believe in your dream or anything like that like they see that you are focusing can i say that but I, that's that's that, that's just what i'm getting during this Merc Mercury retrograde, what's going to be revealed to you is that a lot of people around you may be haters. You get me? I feel like people see that you are really focusing on, like, think about the Three of Cups. You're really focusing on, um, like, working towards having a good time, things like that. You could be feeling very drained and stuff like that. And people could be coming to you, thinking about, I'm just thinking about the Ace of Cups, either love bombing you or they coming to you with their problems and their issues and stuff. And you're just like, what the fuck? And I feel like you are noticing that you having distance and you having space is better for you or you being in this individuality or you're single, you know, being with your singular self, whether you are in a relationship or not. But focusing on your individuality is what brings you abundance. And you here and there like probably popping on social media just to see what's what's going on or whatever the case is. I feel like you being in your solitude is what's being revealed to you during the Mercury retrograde. I feel like with the Ten of Cups is gonna be something that's very detrimental, um, because you are a family person. I feel like you are someone that has a lot of feelings and emotions. We have we do have a lot of um we have the moon card here, so you could be a a, a cancer or a Pisces or you can have those placements taken as it resonates heavy on the cancer with the two of cups there. Um, and I think Pisces is also the Ten of Cups. So, like I said, <laughs> Cancer Pisces energy. Um, but I feel like what's being revealed to you is things that you already know. I feel like you are someone that likes to be with yourself anyway. You enjoy having your solitude or you enjoy having your um, your individuality. You know, I feel like that's when you have the, your... I think that's when you manifest the most i feel like that's when you mo you're most powerful i feel like um that's when you feel your emotions and stuff the most when you are in your own solitude when you are with yourself and you are um understanding your feelings and emotions i feel like you're a very powerful being especially with the harm from being here i feel like you're a very powerful being i feel like you've been through a lot of shit i feel like you're a very wise person i feel like you are the wise one you're very mature no matter how old you are people has o have always said wow pal, number one you're very mature for your age i feel like you have inspired a lot of people with the uh, way that you are doing things like i said no matter if you are where you want to be um but to a lot of other people because of your individuality and because you are taking matters into your own hands and you are focused and you are maturing so much <clears throat> you have a lot of people that are simply looking up to you just for how you are taking like being a black sheep of your family or being the oddball of your friends or just being different in general you know you're taking that and you just you're you're thriving in your individuality i, I don't have no other way to say it but like that Let's see what else we have. We're going to just take it from the top. 
Let's be revealed to pile number one. We have embrace. Find peace with um find peace with your current state of being. We also have here wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. We also have um, resolving issues, solving any um, hmm. solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma. So what's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde is um, like I said, you thrive in your individuality, and that's with the nine of pen the nine of pentacles. I feel like that's when you make your most money that's when you feel, you feel your most stable that's when you feel your most at peace so it's like you have to embrace being single some of you like i said you could either be in a relationship or you could be single or some of you have been single for um uh, you know a while almost a year month, like it could be months or it could have been years and i feel like some of you like you embrace it but it's like it's still you still probably feel very miserable because you don't want to be by yourself. You don't want to be single anymore. Or you don't want to not have any friends and things like that. But it's like embrace it. And think of why you are by yourself. Think of why you, you know, you don't have a lover or why you don't have any friends or you're, why you're not attracting friends or um, why you are not attract, attracting the things that you want into your life. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why we have this res um, resolving issues. I feel like, like I said, you thrive in your solitude. If you can't love yourself, who's going to love you? Like how you love yourself. You get me? You're going to be looking for someone else to love you like how you need to love yourself. The love that you are pouring, not even that, the love that you are pouring into another person, you have to be pouring into yourself as well. And you can't pour from an empty cup. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see what else we have. We have number 22 official person in reverse. Okay, we have number 15 lovers. We also have number 11 sudden wealth. I feel like once you embrace your solitude, once you embrace being alone and understanding your feelings and emotions and stuff like that, I feel like things is just naturally going to fall into place like how it's supposed to with this number 11 sudden wealth. I'm also thinking about the number 11, um, 11, 11. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to be back into your like good graces and um, be back into becoming and feeling attractive, feeling lucky, feeling blessed. You get me? Um, you may have a lot of people that are interested in you that want to be with you, commit to you, or maybe even just be with you sexually. Take what resonates. Um, so I feel like during this Mercury retrograde, a lot of exes, a lot of new people, a lot of lovers, a lot of suitors is going to be coming towards you. Um, with this number 22 official person, just make sure you pay attention to red flags. Um, don't give in so easily because someone seems nice. Uh, and and I want to say, because hmm, this official person, I'm not sure if it's like was being revealed to you. Like, yeah, I just, I just feel like not even in romantic platonic friendships and things like that, too. People may seem like they real and they down for you and they really just hating on a low or they just want to sleep with you or they just want something from you. You get what I'm saying? So pay attention to the people that are around you um, that seem like they real. Like, pay attention to red flags in general. What's being revealed to power number one? We have... The energy is gaining momentum. We also have here, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. I feel like Aquarius are very free spirit lovers. I feel like, because I'm an Aquarius, okay? My son is an Aquarius. And I feel like I'm a very free spirited person in a lot of different ways when it comes to love. Like, I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. And I just feel like, What's being revealed to you is maybe you should do what you want as well when it comes to love. Um, but make smart decisions. Don't, like I said, don't give in easily. Don't, don't give your all just because it seems like this person is, is reciprocating that or that's the energy that they get, they given. You get what I'm saying? Or, and with this um, energy is gaining momentum. I don't know if you feel it because I've been feeling like something is coming towards me. So I don't know. I feel like what's being revealed to you, whatever that, um, that, that you could have a uh, feel like something really good is about to happen because that's how I feel. I feel like something really good is about to happen to me. So I'm going to say that you feel like something really good is going to happen to you. I feel like it's coming quicker than we think. Um, so be prepared for that. Let's see what else we have going on here. What's being revealed to power number one? We have protection. Exactly. Their rejection is God's protection. 
no matter what the situation is of a job if you went for a job and they said that you was going to have that job and the next thing you know they didn't give it to you that was your protection because something better is in the works for you okay when you try to get a job and it doesn't work and you have to i, I don't even know how to explain it i can give a, a perfect example before i was doing youtube i was working at a supermarket and i and i've tried to work at that supermarket on numerous of, of occasions and it just so happened that I had quit one of my other job, other jobs and then this one called me. And then I started getting paid on YouTube. So what happened? I wanted to believe in that job because I, you know, I'm pursuing this dream. So I feel like if somebody rejects you or if it's not going in the way that you want it to go, just understand that something much better is in the works for you, you know? Something much better is in the works for you. We also have here blessings. We have confidence, exactly. So what is being revealed to you is... Like I said, a lot of blessed manifestations, things that you deserve. You are deserving of all things that's good. You are deserving of true love. You are deserving of happiness. You are deserving of all of those things. We have confidence. You being able to look at yourself in the mirror, you know, you spreading your wings and you trying things, maybe even traveling, I feel here. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. We have flow. Protection again. Can't make this shit up. And we have standstill. You don't have to do anything. And I feel like with standstill, it's like people may have used you or played with you. I feel like what's being revealed to you um, during this Mercury retrograde, even though people's downfall doesn't matter to you. You get me? That shit doesn't matter to you. People doing bad, it doesn't matter to you. But I just want to say, okay, that people that may have fumbled you, may have played with you, may have um basically may chose other people before choosing you because you have been doing nothing you know what i'm saying like you haven't been angry about it or maybe you have been you've probably been sad about it thinking about it whatever the case is but you haven't been pursuing it you haven't been hitting people up you haven't been hitting any of your favorite exes up um nobody that you like you haven't been doing any of those things you have been standing in your purpose and staying to yourself and um trying to flourish trying to grow trying to mature you get me because you have been at a standstill i feel like their karma is going to be coming to them in this um during this Merc mercury retrograde and i feel like it's being revealed to you because um you're not going to even be looking for it it's just gonna you're just gonna find out some information you know like you see and you're gonna see why you was protected from this particular situation or it could be multiple situations i feel like um what's being revealed to you as well is that you going with the flow is the best way to go. You just being calm, being at peace, being still is the best way to go. Okay? We have reconsider and we also have listen to your intuition. I <laughs> Pal number one, let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this reading. Um, that's all I really have for you. Thank you so much for being here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today's reading is going to be... It's going to be a new one. I've never done it before, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope that it resonates for you, which it will. But it's going to be what is being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde, which will be between April 21st to May 14th. And, and it will be in Taurus. So with that being said, in my opinion, because I don't know much about Mercury retrograde, I'm going to be completely honest. But because it's in Taurus, I'm going to assume that it's about, you know, your stability and your mental okay so we're gonna see if it's either shifting how it's gonna be shifting shifting your perspective your, your perspective either um it's gonna be shifting it or changing your perspective basically okay so shifting when i say shifting like shifting into your reality and shifting like how you want it to be okay so we're gonna see right now okay So we have letting go. It's a camel walking away. Um, interesting. All right. So what's being revealed to you? I'm not going to read the card just yet. Just going to interpret it. Yeah. So <laughs> what's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde, I can see with like the letting go camel. A camel could hold water in his back. Like, what the fuck? It could hold water in his back. So I feel like what this Mercury retrograde is going to be revealing to you is that 
you don't need someone make uh, maybe for emotional support maybe needing someone um because you probably like you just holding your feelings and emotions and you could be someone that holds everything in holds everything in. you could be about to explode honestly you could be ready to um with let go letting go letting go and telling people how you really feel <laughs> for real letting go and telling people how you really feel letting go and letting people like i don't know letting go of that emotional baggage letting go of baggage people's burdens skeletons in the closets and stuff like that people telling you secrets and you holding on to people's secrets and people probably telling all your business but let's see it says letting go i don't dwell on bad things i sound like i am crazy all right i don't dwell on bad things that happen i let things go because i have enough heavy things to carry around and also grudges aren't great grudges aren't a great look i feel like what's being revealed to you is like like i said you let go of certain things because one you don't want to look old <laughs> you don't want to look older than your age you don't want to sit there you don't want to have pains and aches in your bodies and stuff like that i feel like you want to live a very clear peaceful kind of life okay i feel like what's being revealed to you during this mercury retrograde is like i said releasing letting go moving on maybe there's even something like with the grudges there's something like with and i said emotional baggage maybe past trauma childhood trauma or something like that a toxic relationship if that could be platonic or romantic take it as it resonates i didn't even know we had this card not yet all right so we have peace and we have gratitude peace says i am i am a being of love and i release all negative energy gratitude i am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it um that it presents i feel like during this mercury um retrograde this is what i'm saying mercury retrograde can either make you or break you so i feel like it's really more so making you um what's being revealed to you is being thankful for the lessons that you have been um taught and things that you have learned in these toxic environments understanding that you had to go through these things to get to where you are i feel and you know sometimes people don't make peace with the things that they went through in their past and they hold on to these things and that's how they remain stagnant but once you release grudges release this hurt this pain this built up feelings and emotions peace comes towards you you get me peace comes towards you you become more grounded you you understand what's going on that fog has been lifted you can see clearly now hmm so we have the two of pentacles we have the king of cups we have the emperor card already here yeah. we have the double temperance the queen of swords the eight of swords the knight of swords the knight of pentacles okay so we do have um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, Aries energy, Capricorn, um, Sagittarius energy. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here as well. Um, and we have Earth energy. So I guess it's all zodiac signs for him to see. Just about. We don't have any Leo energy here. Okay. So, pal number two is being revealed to you with this two of pentacles being here. I, I'm seeing that, and uh, take what resonates. Somebody, you could have been dealing with somebody who was very toxic, very manipulative. They was a sweet talker. They probably was paying all the bills. They probably had a very good, stable, suitable job. And now, like I said, this could be um, a romantic partner. This could be a father figure. Um like a stepfather, an uncle, a big brother. Um, but I feel like it's a male for a lot of you, for most of you. What's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde is like how much you've grown from the situation of this toxic person, this man manipulative individual. And like I said, being on with this Queen of Swords, having yourself at this very high stature and not allowing certain people to do certain things or say certain things to you. Do or say, yeah, do or say certain things to you. Um, I feel like with the Eight of Swords being here, I feel like what's being revealed to you is that you don't, you no longer have to keep 
I don't I, I want to say reminding yourself or keeping yourself in that space you don't have to feel trapped like you you you're not trapped like and I'm thinking to myself like for you guys because we have it's the swords and pentacles this person could have been an air or earth sign so Aquarius Libra Gemini or Capricorn Taurus Virgo well they could have both of those placements now, one thing I know about air signs, they're very logical thinkers, you know, sometimes they can be very cold, very detached. They are very emotional people, but they don't, I feel like they don't express themselves enough all the time. Um, air signs are very awkward when it comes to love. When it comes to um, earth signs, I feel like they think of the more, now when it comes to the, the, um, pentacles which would be the capricorn towards virgo um especially if they are um in this they feel like they're in a prom they more materialistic they only focus on money um i feel like they want you to it's like how can i explain it they want you to do what they want you to do especially if it's like beneficial to them you get what i mean like I said, especially if there's one that's in their prom, they feel like they can do whatever they want to do because they make making money, they look good. They they probably, you know, packing a punch when it comes between their legs and things of that nature. I feel like the um, Mercury retrograde, I feel like you're realizing that you're going to have to differentiate the two with this um, two of pentacles being here because you're balancing out everything. You're not, I feel like you're not going to be focusing on your feelings. And that's another thing too. I'm wondering if you are connecting with probably two different people. One that is with the King of Cups, one that's emotionally available. This person is open. This person really likes you. This person showing their feelings and emotion. This person could be a Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces where they can have a lot of water placements. Um, or like I said, they, they can just seem very um, emotionally available. They seem very cool. They seem like they could be your emperor. They feel like this person feels like they can be the one, your divine masculine, divine feminine, or you know, your new little boot thing, little yeah, yeah, whatever. And then we have the devil card being here. It's like, it's hard for you to move on to this next person because you are still thinking about whatever this toxic situation was with this devil card, you know? Whatever you could have been um, obsessing or you are obsessing about or you are overthinking about or this is a person that was obsessing over you or whatever this toxic situation is. But I feel like that's what's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde. You could be um, meeting your person, like you could be meeting your person and you could be blocking your blessings because you're still stuck on a past or old relationship or old connection finally meeting someone it's like the full package that got everything together all this extra you know but you still that toxic or bad relationship is still lingering around you you know what i'm saying i hope this reading is not too much all over the place because my son kept coming inside the room <laughs> but let's see what's being revealed to pal number two we have decisions boundaries acceptance so decision says the need to gain clarity through decision making boundary says no one to put up and let down your walls acceptance accept past and current situations work through issues gracefully so i feel like like i said you may come across a person that is giving you like okay this could be the one this person is making me feel good this person is loving on me you know what I'm saying? This person is loving on me. You have to remember to yourself that this person is not the past person. But also, you know, the emperor's wearing red. The emperor's wearing red. So it's like, you know, got to be cautious. Pay attention to things. If there's any red flag or anything like that, pay attention to that stuff. Um, with these boundaries, I feel like what's being revealed to you through this Mercury retrograde is you realizing your boundaries and noticing there's a lot of things that you may not like and speaking up for yourself. And not just letting things slide because you just like, you know, it is what it is. It's cool. You know, this person is not, they don't mean to do it. They don't, you know what I'm saying? No one to, like the car says, no one to let up and put down your walls. So if you are putting, or if you letting down your walls and then this person feels like they can play with you or whatever the case is, you know that you need to put your walls back up again and you need to stand firm on, I told you I don't like that don't do this don't do that and this of course is a way to talk to people you don't got to be disrespectful you still can be very much feminine you know what i'm saying you can still be very soft you don't have to be in this masculine 
or her kind of energy. You get what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm seeing here too with the Empress and the Devil card. Like whatever this toxic or bad situation was, it puts you in this masculine energy where you have to be rough and raw, raw. Like you don't even want to be that type of person anymore. You know? I feel like you don't want to be that type of person anymore. Let's see what else we have. Let's be real to pile number two. We have number 23, courthouse. We have number six, mature woman. We have number five, mature man. That's what I'm saying. Some of you are going to be meeting your person, your partner. This person is going to be on the same, that's going to be on the same page as you. You get me? Like, I can't make the, I can't make this shit up. This person is going to, like, you already are on your healing journey. Because I'm saying here, thinking about the two into, um, number 23 is five. So two into three is five. Five is about healing. It, things can be a little bit chaotic, hectic, but whatever the case is, a little also about confusion, commotion, stuff like that. So I feel like with this partnership that is probably coming in now, like I said, this could be this could this could be a romantic partner. This could be a best friend, something like that. This, but I just want to say that there's a person coming in that's going to be on the same level as you, okay? The same level as you, the same page as you. Um, have the same type of mindset as you probably have the same interest as you as well and it's just going to be feeling like i thank god for for me waiting thank you so much for me you know focusing on myself okay let me see what else we have going on here let me reveal to pile number two okay so we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon and libra we also have this is in reverse it says um take time to breathe out but why is it in reverse? So, I feel like what's being revealed to you, take time to breathe out. Maybe it's not, it's time for you to, like, full speed ahead and not, like, not overthink things so much. You get me? I feel like things is going to be working in your favor more than you know. You get me? I really feel like things is going to be working in your favor more than you know because you have been in this space where you always had to figure things out. Like I said, you was in this masculine energy and you wanted to be more soft. You wanted to be more feminine. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you are male or female. Everyone needs to take time to be in a feminine energy. And when I say feminine energy, I mean they're soft. Thank you and letting people do things for you. Letting people open the door for you. Letting people take you out. Stuff like that. Let's see what else we have. Let's be real to power number two. We have manifestation, passion, and we have travel. Some of you could be traveling, could be going somewhere, going out. I'm about to say going the distance. Um, manifestation, passion. So, like I said, some of you could be manifesting um, a divine masculine. You could be manifesting a husband. You can be um, manifesting something like that, maybe even a best friend or, or, or something within that nature. And I feel like it's coming into fruition for you. Like I said before, someone is going to be having the same type of passion, interest, and things like that. Um, I feel like what's being revealed to you is you can be someone that's a very passionate person. You can be very career driven. Okay. With this emperor card here, you know, you could be your own boss. You could be your, um, you could be your own boss or entrepreneur. Um, maybe you're going to be taking your business and you're going to be traveling or maybe you're going on a trip or something like that you could be um deciding that you want to up and leave or something like that you want to um you you could be planning like a a one day getaway you know just to be like spend time with yourself what's being revealed to how number two the remember for you retrograde we have blessings transformation we have truth. So blessings, manifestations, in my opinion, is kind of the same thing. When you are manifesting, you will, it, it, let me, we're not even getting into that, but blessings and manifestations are the same thing, in my opinion, okay? So I feel like what's being revealed to you is a lot of things that you've been manifesting, you've been asking for, you've been praying for, is coming to you, okay? It's coming to you, and you could have been hearing a lot of birds singing, you could have been, uh, like, birds chirping and stuff like that. Um, I want to say, honestly, you could have been seeing, uh, seeing a lot of insects, like flies and maybe butterflies and moths or things like that. And that's, I feel like that's signs that, <clears throat> excuse me, something is coming for you. Um, something that you've been asking for, something that you've been praying for and manifesting. Take it into, um, um, take it into consideration. Take it, take what resonates. Um, with this truth being here. I feel like what's being revealed to you. I 
I'm not too so sure what to say about truth. Maybe you see in the truth that you don't have to be so masculine. You don't have to be so hard. It's okay to be a little bit more soft. Or you um, putting yourself on this very high pedestal. Putting yourself where it's like, whereas, how can I explain it? Um, you put yourself on a high pedestal so you expect people to treat you, treat you the same type of way. You know? That was That's the right way to be. That's the truth. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what else. So we have um, communicate clearly and we also have a year from now. So something could be happening a year from now for you. Maybe you could be um, during this Mercury retrograde. I was saying that maybe a year from now. You're going to be seeing that it was all worth it. All the, the, like, the letting go of the baggage and letting go of, you know, toxic behavior, toxic relationship connections and stuff like that. You're going to see why that was, but the truth, yes. Okay. All right. The truth saying, the seeing like why you needed to release, let go of what no longer serves you and stop dwelling on the past. That's what this Mercury retrograde is going to be showing you a year from now. It's going to be so much better for you. You're going to, your blessings and manifestations and all your scripting, if you script as well. And you got to communicate clearly. Make sure you are saying exactly what you want. Make sure that you are um, very clear about what you want when you are manifesting and praying and stuff like that. Because a year from now, oh my gosh, I feel that a year from now, you're going to see it. You're going to just be like, wow, I created this whole reality for myself. So, pal number two, that's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hello, my beautiful pal number threes. Last but not least, okay? So, we're doing something new. Um, today's reading, blah, blah, blah. I've never done a reading like this. I've never done a Mercury retrograde reading before. But I felt the need to, and I felt the urge to do this. So, I hope that it resonates, which I know it will. And I hope that you enjoy this reading as well. So, it's going to be what is being revealed to you during the Mercury retrograde. The Mercury retrograde will be from April 21st to May 14th. So we're going to see what is shifting in your way or is going to be shifting like your perspective of things, okay? Um, also, it's going to be um, the Mercury retrograde is going to be in Taurus. So with that being said, I think it's about your money or it's going to be about your, your mental, your head, your, your head space, okay? So let's get into it. All right, so we have options. Mm. So what could be getting revealed to you in during this Mercury retrograde? I feel like a lot of things could be changing. And it's like, I'm not reading this yet. That's why I got my hand covering it. But I'm seeing the fish. I see sausages. That's chicken. And then I'm seeing ice cream. So it's like... What the fuck? It's going to be a lot of sweet, savory, <laughs> spicy. It's, I feel like it's, this Mercury retrograde is going to be very interesting for you. I feel like this Mercury retrograde is going to be very interesting for you, okay? So uh, I hope that I can give you as much inf information as possible. And I feel like this is going to be a very interesting reading. <laughs> so let's get into it. So this card says, as I open to the abundant possibilities of my life path, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is about, life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato. Okay. Pile number three, child. What y'all trying to do? What are y'all trying to do? During this Mercury, Mercury retrograde, I feel like you're going to be learning a lot of lessons. Like I said, it's going to be like bittersweet. It's going to be really sweet. Then it's going to be a little um, weird. It's going to be like, what the fuck? Then it's going to be like, okay, this is okay. This is cool. You know, maybe I'll try this again. So I, I feel like it's, this Mercury retrograde is going to be very interesting. So let's see what we have. We have denial. We also have judgment. Judgment says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Denial says, I acknowledge my fear and I replace it with the insight of awareness. So I'm wondering... Because I was thinking that to myself. You could be someone that is very, I want to say very spontaneous. I could say very spontaneous. You, be, you do what you want to do.
I feel like you do what you want to do. This is blowing mine. Okay. Is that going to work? That's going to have to work today. Shit. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I feel like you do what you want to do. And I feel like sometimes you don't listen to anybody's opinion. You don't listen to any what anybody has to say. And I was saying to myself that some of you may have... Um, I'm just saying, you don't have to have it. Or people may have... Um, try to say you had like maybe ADHD or you can have bipolar disorder or you borderline uh, or borderline multiple personalities or something like you get what I'm saying you may have during this Mercury retrograde yeah you just may find out some shit about yourself you may find out something about yourself but like I said this is gonna be a very interesting one and I feel like during this Mercury retrograde, you want to understand that you're different or you being different makes you very much unique. And I feel like that's another thing too with this denial. Maybe you feel like you wasn't, you being different was like a burden to people or it was an, a, of annoyance to people. But I feel like that was just, people were jealous. People were hating on you because of how creative you are, how smart you are. Um, how differently you think, how unique you are, how you are able to, um, like, you don't need a crowd to fit in. You like, you don't need a bunch of people to, um, you don't need a bunch of people in general to, for you to be yourself. You get me? You don't need a bunch of cheerleaders cheering you on. Like, you always going to be authentically yourself. So let's see. We have the King of Cups. We have the King of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Chariot, the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Three of Wands. See what I'm saying? Very interesting. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, we have Aries energy, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces has been in every freaking reading but we have a lot of wands oh we have only wands and water oh shit wow that's what i'm saying you stirring the pot you get me you stirring the pot so i feel like um what's being revealed to you during this mercury retrograde you see, I'm getting so many different downloads. I'm getting husbands. I'm getting ex-boyfriends. I'm getting old friendships. Or oh, I'm, I'm friends now in general. I don't know if you're a drinker. You could be a drinker. Nothing, not heavy. Nothing crazy. Maybe like here and there you have a couple of sips of wine or whatever. Um, okay. What's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde with this King of Cups being here. You could be connected with the Scorpio Cancer or Pisces or you could be um, connected with someone that seems like they're very emotionally available. Someone that's very sweet. Someone that's very kind. They always know what to say. Um, they are always, like, if you calling them or texting them, they always answering, all that stuff. They showing you all these good times or whatever, whatever, whatever. I feel like with the Nine of Wands being here, I feel like you need to have your walls up. What's being real to you is that you need to have your guard up and be careful with this person. With this Chariot card being here... <clears throat> That's like fast forward. Maybe you need to move past this person. Um, if you've been having this gut feeling that this person is lying about something, or if you've been seeing red flags, or if you've been, you know, noticing a couple of things, or other cases that you probably don't like, maybe you need to move on from this individual. It doesn't have to be. I'm also feeling here with the chariot card that maybe uh, was being revealed to you that something could be going on with your car. Uh, I don't know. Check, check engine. That's the red, but the, yeah. So you need to probably check your car or get a tune-up or, you know, see what's going on with your car, okay? <laughs> Maybe put some air in your tires, nothing too crazy like that. With the Mercury retrograde, I feel like you could be getting a new car or something like that. Mm -hmm. Drive safely, everybody. That's all I want to say, drive safely. With the four ones being here, I feel like, um... Was being real to you during this Mercury retrograde. Now, the four of wands can be so many different things. Somebody could be moving to a new home, house, or apartment, or you could just be finding out that you're approved for this new home, um, apartment, condo, something like that. Some of you could be moving in or shacking up with your partner. Um, some of you could be finding out you are within good health. Some of you could be, um, mm, I thought I say breaking generational curses or cycles. Maybe you could be the first point, first person getting married. 
your um yeah you leave the first one getting married yeah you'd be the first one getting married in your family take that as a resume because with the three of cups being here i ain't seen that there's a lot of celebration going out having a good time the first thing i seen was brunch okay so during this Mer um, mercury retrograde was being revealed to you is like I don't know, like your friends wanna have a good time, go out, have fun, stuff like that. Um, Cause I'm seeing a lot of celebrations happen. I just see a lot of fun, having a lot of fun. Like, that's what I'm saying, like <laughs> you stirring the pie, it should, it's like all over the place. I'm seeing with the Six of Cups being here, maybe old, maybe you connect them with old friends, old lovers, partners, if that's what you so choose to do or whatever the case is. I feel like you are being free with the Three of Wands being here. I am seeing that you are longing, manifesting, or um, I, I don't know. I feel like because it's a lot going on, but, but then when I seen the three of wands, I was just like, hmm, maybe during this Mercury retrograde, I feel like you're going to be seeing, like, even though you have all these people, like your exes or old friends or people wanting to connect with you and stuff like that, at the end of the day, you still are by yourself. Or, like, you need to be by yourself and or have some type of solitude so you can manifest, like, how you need to, or you still have impatience, or, you know, there's still things that you want to do, you want to pursue in life. Like you are, you're happy where you're at, but you want to be, you know, there's more things that you want to do with yourself. With the two of wands being here, I'm also seeing like, I don't know, you're making better decisions, making better friends. I feel like during this Mercury retrograde, that's what's being revealed to you, that you're making better friends, making better decisions. You're doing things that's making you feel good. You don't care about other people's opinions or, or how other people are um, viewing you or, you know what I'm saying? But let's see what else we have. What's being revealed to pile number three? We have self-awareness. We have spread your wings. We have awakening. So self-awareness says tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Um, spread your wings says confidence that lead to freedom and growth, awakening, a realization shift or discovery. So I feel like um, what you what I feel like what's being real to you during this Mercury retrograde is um, with the self-awareness, what makes you happy, I feel. And not you don't have to keep repeating the same type of cycle. You know, you could do something a little bit different, try something a little bit different. Um you know, be a little bit different. Be unique. Be yourself. It's fine. You know, spread your wings. F fly. Soar. If you're not happy where you're at or if you are feeling like you feel like you're losing yourself or something like that, spread your wings. You know, um, keep your head up. <laughs> keep your head held very high. Walk in your confidence. And um, go hang out. Go be with your friends. You know, um, do things that make you feel good. You get what I'm saying? Do something spontaneous. So we have number 28, expectation. We have number 36, distance horizons. We have number 32, despair. So I feel like what's being revealed to you during this Mercury retrograde, and it's so fucking crazy. It's like maybe you are moving or people are, are expecting you to do a certain type of thing. And once you do it, I feel like that's when people are going to walk away from you. People are not going to um, hang around you. People are not going to talk to you and stuff like that because you are making um, certain decisions for yourself. During this Mercury retrograde, you're going to be seeing who your real friends and family are for real okay some of you could be um getting hitched or something like that with that four of wands being here some of you could be deciding that you want to go and get married to somebody that you just met or get married to somebody that um you know you probably kept this person to yourself and kept this person a secret so a lot of people didn't know that you had you knew this person or this could be someone from your past or whatever the case is that you know if this person did something you told your family so they don't like this individual or whatever the case is but that's who you're choosing to be with or stick with that's that's hmm. let's see what else let's be real to power number three it says don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo and we also have here nothing is yet nothing is yet set in stone mutual uh, mutual uh, mutable moon i can't even talk so i feel like this is what i'm saying it's either you you wanted to get hit or you decided that you, you wanted to marry somebody or maybe you found like the person that you probably somebody liking you more than you like them um you could be waiting for somebody from your past or something like that you could be about to marry somebody new or maybe commit to this new person or whatever the case is but you feel like maybe you could you yourself could be feeling like you're moving too fast with this person or this person is moving too fast you know what i mean or you could like like i said you could be blocking the fact or you could be 
Like, this person could be love bombing you. They don't have to necessarily be love bombing you. They could really be serious about these feelings and emotions and stuff like that. But you could be probably seeing signs of how um, your last relationship was. And you don't want to be relive that kind of information. I feel like that's what's being revealed to you during the Mercury retrograde. Please take what resonates. We have freedom. We have financial health. And we also have dreams. It's like, maybe your dreams is telling you something because shit. Hmm. My dreams told me that my, my son's father was having another baby. <laughs> and it was correct. <laughs> it was correct. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying to tell people that our dreams really do be telling us stuff. And sometimes it's not just our dreams. When we have deja vu, we be seeing things before it happens and stuff like that. We are very magical beings, very magical people. So I feel like what's being revealed to you is maybe that... Um, you do have some type of psychic abilities which would be maybe having very vi vivid dreams or you having dreams that your person could be cheating or you could be having dreams that you're with somebody else or something like that um or maybe you could be seeing that this person is not going this person is not they're not as financially they're not as financial like financially stable as you would like them to be they're not with like they don't have the money and the credentials like you would want them to have or maybe even this you feel like that about yourself i mean like a, something like that because this is what i'm saying like that's so fucking crazy i'm sitting here thinking about it thinking about the wands in the pot it could be the fact that this relationship is mostly or strictly like about sex or whatever you know what i'm saying and you could have been like um either p whipped or d whipped you get me hmm interesting so let's see what else we have we have freedom again we have power and we also have security so one of these um stories gotta be right <laughs> one of these stories have to be right and i told you power number three like this story is gonna be all over the place but it makes sense it really does make sense so i feel like what's being revealed to you is that you have the power to stay you have the power to go you have the power of everything you get me like this person they have a magical whatever the case is, but you have powerful, powerful, whatever's between your legs and you are fin financially stable. You look good. Um, you know, you have people that can't let you, can't let go of you. You are financially stable in all these different aspects and stuff like that. Okay. Why do you have that sweater on? Okay. Close the door. <clears throat> so we have actually angels. And we also have choose a new direction, bro. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pound number three. Let me know if you are in this chaotic kind of situation right now in the comment section. But that's all I really have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.